Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your Farm and Ranch News. Alfalfa weevil resistance is a growing problem in Montana and Wyoming. Scott Shell, entomologist for the University of Wyoming, along with co-authors Tyler Jones and Jeremiah Vardaman, wrote a recommendation guide on how to manage weevils profitably. Shell said that early harvest is the best control method since it avoids the building of resistance. You're probably not going to maximize your tonnage by cutting it early because alfalfa weevil is mainly a problem for your first cutting of alfalfa hay on irrigated land. And by cutting early, you may give up some tonnage, but you generally gain in crude protein, total digestible nutrients, in the quality of your alfalfa, and you kill the weevil's larvae. Monitoring after the first cut is extremely important to make sure you aren't sustaining any damage to the regrowth. Go to the University of Wyoming's publication page to read the, to read the free guide. Well, the National Cattlemen's Beef Association President Mark Isley signed a statement with Cattle Australia to partner up in addressing cattle health and foreign disease, ensuring proper oversight of lab-grown meat and encouraging sustainable world trade. The joint statement commits them to protecting cattle from foot and mouth disease with vaccine banks. It also said that the groups will ensure that lab-grown proteins follow regulations by authorities and clearly labeled as lab-grown meat. NCBA and Cattle Australia also agree to share information on cattle industry sustainability to promote cattle production in terms of conservation. The Northern Ag Network is back in an hour. I represent a lot of what ranchers' wives are, where they marry into the family coming in to establish ranch, the expectations of that is just absolutely overwhelming. You know, there's always stress with all families, but when you're not dealing with the stress outwardly, it will definitely impact everyone inwardly. You might feel alone, but you're not alone. Welcome back to the Farm and Ranch News. The Commodity Futures Trading Commission filed a civil action complaint against Agridime LLC and its, co and its co founders for defrauding thousands of customers in 14 states, including Montana, North Dakota, and South Dakota. Agridime promised a 15 to 20 percent annual return on cattle investments through an online platform. However, they used customers' funds to pay undisclosed commissions and earlier customers' profits instead of buying and caring for the promised cattle with the funds. Agridime received over $161 million from 2,000 customers between 2021 and 2023. The CFTC seeks restitution of customers, fines for violations, trading bans, and an injunction against further violations. While the cattle futures traded unsteady most of Wednesday's session, but were able to close up higher. The strength of boxed beef should have left the contracts some more support. Cash cattle has yet to trade this week. Box beef prices are strong this week. $2 to $3 higher, choice at $307.37. Cow-calf pairs at the Mile City Livestock Commission sold anywhere between $25.85 to $32.75. Cows traded at $134 to $146 and heiferets at $178 to $231. At the Headwaters Livestock Auction, ewes sold at 92 to 112, lambs mostly 165 to 235. While the wheat markets still seem to be pulling back from the new highs on Monday, there is concern about the condition of, Rus of Russian crop as well as in the Black Sea region. That's it for today's Ag Report. Enjoy your Thursday.